This is Derek Barr with Hardy Telecommunications and today I'm going to make some uh, training videos and show you how to uh, troubleshoot or, and do some of the most commonly, commonly asked questions that we get with OneNet and show you how to fix those issues. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to change the audio-visual input on your television. We have found that a lot of people will accidentally hit the audio-visual button and so they'll be end up taking their TV off of the correct setting to, to see OneNet. Um, it's a little bit tricky to demonstrate this because different TVs can, can look diff uh, respond differently with the menus and the look will be different, but the basic function is the same and it's really just a matter of pressing on your OneNet remote the top center gray button that says AV. And that stands for Audio Visual Input. Once your remote has been programmed to work with your television set, this will should cycle through the different audio visual inputs on your TV. And what that is, audio visual input is just different, a whole bunch of different ones on your TV that um, you might have an Xbox hooked up to one, you might have a Blu-ray player hooked up to one. And so you can cycle through the audio visual inputs and that tells the TV which signal to put on the screen. So in this case, you need to put it on the one that corresponds to OneNet. So all I'm going to do is press this button right here, top center button. When I do that, my TV brings up a lot of different signals there. These are all different inputs that I have. TV, input uh, HDMI 1, HDMI 2, HDMI 3, Comp AV, PCN, and USB. I know, I know that uh, HDMI 1 is where I have OneNet set up. But I can cycle through by just continuing to press the AV button and then if you wait a few seconds on each one, if you're not sure which one is set up for your OneNet, then um, if you wait a few seconds, it should uh, show whatever is under that input. So for me, it's HDMI 1. So again, all I'm doing is hitting the top center button. And again, I could be on the wrong setting, it doesn't have a signal. I just keep cycling through until I get back to the one that is set up for OneNet. If you're not sure which one that is, just keep waiting a few seconds until it can go through and display whether there is a signal there. And in this case, it finds on HDMI 1 that, yep, there's OneNet. And that is how we change the audiovisual input. 